Hi everyone! Today's review on Noodle Journey is going to be a little bit of a departure, because I'm not reviewing an instant noodle cup, but instead an instant rice cake cup. This is Pororo Cream Takbaki. Now, before I get into this whole thing, I'm not 100% certain of the manufacturer of this product. Uh, it doesn't say anywhere on the cup who makes it. Some sites say that this is manufactured by Paldo. Uh, other sites say it's a company called Muko, M-U-K-K-O, but I don't know. Realistically, if you want to buy this online, just search for Pororo Takbaki and you'll find it easily. Uh, yeah, so I bought this as an import from South Korea, but you can find this line of products in some Asian grocery stores in the USA or even on Amazon. These aren't exactly cheap. This one was $6, but this is kind of a treat, so I'm not mad at the price if this turns out to be good. If your local grocery store has these, you're looking at more like 3 to $4 probably. Uh, this is the first of four varieties in my possession, and when I did my unboxing video for this, I had a few people ask for a review, so here we go. I figured I'd start with this one, which is a cream sauce. And yes, if you have kids or are just a fan of animation, you may recognize the character Pororo the Little Penguin from his cartoons. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a licensed product and is probably marketed to kids, but that typically means that this is an accessible way for anyone to try takbaki. Now let's get into what takbaki is, because it's not instant noodles. It's more like a relative of rice noodles. These thick tubular rice cakes that you see on the front are called tak, and when they're made with a sauce, you get takbaki. And I really hope I'm saying all these words correctly. These have a very pleasing starchy texture, nice and chewy, kind of like eating a rice gnocchi if I had to compare it to something. Or of course, it's Japanese cousin mochi if you've ever had that, although mochi is glutinous. Uh, so as a bonus to anyone who's gluten intolerant, most of the time takbaki is gluten free, unless there's another grain or starch mixed in with the rice cake. You can go to your Korean grocer and buy a bag of rice cakes to cook with yourself, and they're pretty versatile and easy to use. You basically just soak them before you cook them, and then throw them in a stir fry or sauce and let them work their magic. They can be the star of a recipe or a textural supplement. Uh, and let me be clear, they don't really taste like much. Kind of like when you cook with tofu, it's all about the texture and the absorption of flavors. I've cooked takbaki before, but I've never had it in an instant cup, so I'm really looking forward to trying this. So let's check out the sodium content and the ingredients. Uh, Google Lens came to the rescue for me. This is really low on sodium, only 553 milligrams in this cup, which is great. That means this is pretty guilt-free. Uh, inside, we've got a bag of the rice cakes, a sauce mix in powder form, and a little sticker. That's cute. My kids will love this. You probably want to see the sticker, right? Okay. There we go. It's this cute little penguin in a purple parka. Very adorable. I know nothing about Pororo. Anyway, uh, now for some reason, Google Lens is having a hard time with this label deciphering the ingredients. So all I really know is that the sauce has cream and cheese in it with some parsley. So with all that said, this is ridiculously easy to cook. You add the rice cakes and sauce to the cup, you add hot water to the fill line, and you microwave it for 90 seconds. So I will be right back. All right, here we go. Um, fair warning, this did boil over in the microwave pretty quickly. It's actually the first time that's ever happened to me on this channel, which is strange. Um, so just be careful with that. Maybe put a lid on this or something if you buy this for yourself. Uh, it smells like a nice basic cream sauce, uh, but I'm really excited to find out what these rice cakes feel like after 90 seconds in the microwave. So here we go. Oh, that's neat. All right, so instead of noodle texture, let's talk rice cake texture. I think this is pretty indistinguishable from a rice cake I've cooked out of a bag from my Asian market. So it's a nice, chewy chunk of starchy goodness. I'm really surprised that this great texture came from a microwave and not like a long simmer on the stovetop. Now, I haven't eaten other instant takbaki before, so the only basis for comparison I have is with what I've cooked myself. But these are exactly the way I like them, perfectly al dente, nice and chewy. Uh, I have no problem saying that this is a 10 out of 10 for rice cake texture. As far as spice level, this is a nice spice-free sauce. There's no sneaky chili pepper hiding in here, although I think chili pepper would go very well in this. A little sprinkle of something red, uh, but 0 out of 10 for spiciness. And now for the overall flavor and score. Um, yeah, this is extremely basic, but it's very comforting. As far as I can tell, this is real cream and cheese in here, 
and nothing is really striking me as artificial tasting. The sauce is decently thick and is clinging to the rice cakes really well. The little green bits of parsley in here are a nice herby taste, and I'm pretty sure I'm detecting some onion and possibly chives. I think I could maybe use like the slightest hit of salt or MSG because it's a little bit on the tame side as far as sodium goes. But that's it. There's not a lot to talk about here. It's exactly what you expect it to be based on the picture on the cup. Nothing fancy, just a mild, tasty cream sauce with some nice texture. Uh, the only other downside is that, well, obviously it's a little small and it's on the expensive side. But I'm really enjoying this and it certainly makes for a nice quick snack or a small meal. So I'm going to call this a 7 out of 10 overall. If you've never tried takbaki before, I can't imagine a safer, more basic way to try it than with this instant version in a cream sauce. The texture of the cake might not be for everyone, but I absolutely recommend you try it at least once to see what you think. I think takbaki is great. Well, now I'm definitely looking forward to trying the other three takbaki flavors I bought, uh, but lest I change the channel name to Rice Cake Journey, I will be spreading those out a little bit in between other reviews. So if you give these a try or have other instant takbaki to recommend to me, please leave me some comments. Please remember to hit that like button and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time on Rice, I mean Noodle Journey.